Welcome back to another little bit of Lisp. This time we're going to talk about something which is a bit of a strange omission from the standard. And that's that there isn't just a general tree walking um, function. So let's say, for example, we have a tree like the one over here. So we have this a tree variable, which I'll compile now. We've got it here. And we want to walk across this and we're going to add every number. For some reason, we just want to sum up all the numbers and that's it. Um, well, we'll have to write some functions to walk that tree and that's fine. Um, but it's slightly odd that the standard doesn't have one. The thing is, it kind of does, and we've seen it before um, if you've watched the episode on, the episode on subst or subst if. Um, it's a bit of a jerry-rigged way of doing it, but let's look at the signature quickly. Subst if takes a tree and a function which is going to run, uh, this thing is going to run on every element in the tree, and a value, if this function returns, oops, sorry, if this function... <laughs> Uh, the test function returns true, then it's going to replace that value in the tree with this new one here. So we could jerry-rig something out of this very easily. If we just said the new value was nil, let's make a... Um, actually, let's not make a helper function. We'll just do a lambda right here. So do lambda x, and then we're going to say when the thing is a number, because that's what we're trying to do, add up all the numbers, then increment total by x, by that number. And then we're going to make sure we always return nil from here. And then where are we? Now we just need to pass in the tree, which let's let's pass that in as an argument actually up here. And that's basically it. So if we now we run test passing in a tree, we can see it comes back with 203, which I have to trust me is the correct result. So what's happened here? Substitute if is desperately trying to do what we've asked it to do, which is to look for things to substitute in the tree. So it's walking down the tree and it's going, hey, is this something I need to substitute? And every time we say, nope, keep going. Um, but what we're using is as a side effect is we're going, hey, uh, this is a number. Cool, let's increment this total we're keeping out here and then we can return that instead. We don't care about the result of this. Um, so this is one way we can kind of misuse this. Um, this tip came from lisptips.com. You should also check that out. Um, yeah, in a pinch, this can work quite well. But otherwise, of course, we can just do as we normally do and write little tree walking functions. Thanks for stopping by.